good morning students how are you all i hope you all are good so today's date is 25th feb 2022 your class is 8 and what is our subject our subject is english okay as you know all that we all love our mothers very much okay students uh, can you tell me what you do for your mothers okay you help your mothers and do you know that what our mothers do for us hmm. okay our mothers do infinite sacrifices for us they pay uh, they put uh, they give us everything that they possess right and we cannot pay the toll of their sacrifices okay we need to appreciate our mother's sacrifices their love fine sometimes you feel our mothers do uh, too much hardship for us they uh, do so many sacrifices for us and due to that sometimes our mothers feel we can fail and sometimes we can see some wrinkles on their face uh, some kind of dullness on their face so students uh, our today's poem is all about our mothers sacrifices that they do for us and the title of this poem is the title of our poem is wrinkles okay students this is our poem and this poetry is composed by arvind okay what is the name of poet composed by arvind is the poet of this poetry so uh, let me read this poem first what poem a poet is saying my mother making bold today i begin to count wrinkles on your face first wrinkle of the time when you, uh, when uh, your father uprooted you from the backyard of his house to the courtyard of others another wrinkle i can feel that uh, when your when i nourished myself uh, on your blood when i was in your form so students uh, so many uh, stanzas are there in this poem and each stanza is of four lines that is quatrain okay so let us discuss in detail about uh, this uh, few stanzas from your poetry the first stanza what poet is saying that my mother making bold today uh, he is saying to his mother that today i am feeling courageous that i am begin to i am going to count so many wrinkles on your face poet is very much worried about his mother he love his mother as we all people love our mothers and uh, uh, what he is doing he is saying to his mother that today i am feeling uh, bold i am courageous and i want to uh, count some wrinkles on your face and i feel that the first wrinkle you got on your skin on your face is at that time when your father fixed your marriage with an uh, with an with a man whom you don't know who is he how is his behavior and he sent you from his house to another's house and i can feel that how much pain you have suffered at that time and uh, uh, this is your big sacrifice for your parents because you had to left your uh, parents you have to left your parental home and you have to settle down in another house i think that you got your first wrinkle at that time and then boy in this next stanza what he is saying that i can feel that another wrinkle the second wrinkle you got on your skin on your face is at the time when you conceived me okay after marriage when you conceived me and i uh, started nourishing myself in your form on your blood aapke blood se main apne aap ko nourish karne laga tha and at that time you were uh, sacrifice this is uh, again a big sacrifice of yours for uh, giving me birth and i feel that you can uh, you had felt uh, so many uh, pains and worries okay you uh, you may uh, got weak at that time and due to that weakness you got your second wrinkle and like this so many ring 
girls due to uh, different sacrifices you did for me, you did for the family, and you got so many wrinkles, and I can feel. And in the end of this uh, poem, he is he urges his mother to uh, be uh, that girl once a time. Poet is saying that I will bring everything for you. Okay. मैं तुम्हारे लिए तो सब कुछ लाऊंगा जिनकी तुम्हें ज़रूरत है जो तुम अपने बचपन में जिन चीज़ों के साथ खेला करती थी आई विल ब्रिंग एवरी थिंग फॉर यू बट दिस इज़ माई रिक्वेस्ट टू अगेन बी दैट गर्ल वाइज फॉर मी एक बार तुम फिर से मेरे लिए वो लड़की बन जाओ मैं देखना चाहता हूँ उस लड़की के फॉर्म में जब तुम्हारे फेस पे कोई रिंकल नहीं था तुम्हें कोई भी वरीज नहीं थी तो दिस इज़ योर पोइट्री Okay, in the next class we will discuss uh, another stanzas of this poetry in detail. Till then, uh, you have to read this poem at your home. This is your homework, and we will discuss next stanzas in next class. Thank you very much.